Gravy Timothy, are you ready for the most interesting game in the entire world? I can't hear you. No, literally, I can't hear you. Hold on, I'll put text to speech on in the comments. Can you all just uh, uh, say yes down there? This is Focus to Z, a series where I'm checking out every nation's focus tree and the paths nobody really does because they're bad. Now, this is a nation nobody doesn't even play. Am I excited to play Switzerland? Not really. I already recently played them for the achievements we're doing, and I'm just not ready to go back. It's definitely no secret that Switzerland is one of my least favorite nations in Hoi 4, if not the worst. It's definitely a tie-up between them and Ethiopia. And also, I do applause Paradox for having a bit of a different take on how a focus tree should work with Switzerland. I don't like it. It is simply too much faffing about. So realistically, I could do any damn focus path here because uh, <laughs> who the hell does any of them? <laughs> but the the path I want to explore today as Switzerland is full neutrality. That's right, boys. Today, nothing will ever happen. We must protect our democratic and neutral values. That's right, Chud. The building stays. So obviously, as neutral Switzerland, we're going to be tiptoeing around all the major powers around us to make sure that we don't make anybody angry. Because as soon as they get angry, they take it out on poor old Switzerland. Now, whilst we are completely neutral and not really wanting to upset any side here, we are going to go ahead, quickly dip to the left of full Canton control just for a little bit so that we can go ahead and uh, do a bit of trading. Nothing wrong wrong with that right i mean you just give me some gold maybe a bit of art i put it up a mountain nobody has to know nobody said it was ethical neutrality okay now that we've got the german gold we're gonna go ahead and pivot over here and get ourselves the allied gold that's right i have technically picked a side the side is profit there we go the banks are open for business boys yeah if it was any other nation that really got this bonus and they had a bit more room to work with it would certainly pay off but we don't we are literally Switzerland. We do get really good bonuses for getting planes. I can already get up to engine 4 in 417 days, so I might as well. And I think I'll just whack them all on the market. There you go. Just under two years and we will get ourselves advanced small fighters, which is definitely very nice. So there you go. Germans are going at it and they don't really like me too much and I don't like them at all. But I do love their goal. It's uh, helping me put down these synthetic refineries quite nicely. Switzerland gets this unique militia decision event stuff and uh, it's really cool in the fact that it's absolutely not cool but you do get a whole bunch of militia i guess in fact i can have 45 of them currently i mean i can't but you, ca you know you can and uh, these guys will just sit in the mountains uh, just chilling i guess because nothing will ever happen also for them to be activated yes they are on the map currently but they're not actually on the map because you need to hit a button in your decisions to them for them to even become useful and uh, that takes a little bit of time. Oh, there you go, though. I have got all the plain tech I will ever need. I guess I can now start selling them. I can't send them as volunteers, obviously, because I'm neutral. Now, this would be a unique opportunity for Switzerland if you were wanting to play and have some inkling of fun. But we... We don't want that. We want nothing to ever happen. Although saying that, out of sheer desperation for an inkling of fun, I am going down this little part of the focus tree over here to this thing right here. Now, I know this might upset the Germans, but they're actually super upset with me already. I'm just boosting it by the fact invading me would be too costly, plus 100. So they both love me, but also hate me. Also, why can I make concessions to the Ethiopian monarchist party? Why is that there? Technically, in my neutrality, I could still go down any path here. That is the unique thing about the Swiss tree. You can be very fluid with it. But I don't really want to go over on this side with the Germans because that does mean we will have to abandon our neutrality, which means something will technically happen. Uh, instead, I think I'm going to go over here into the Gotthard Bund and do the neutral Entente and maybe also this thing over here and demand all the land and see if they still give it to me okay hold on a second why do i actually now have to appease the ethiopians why is this a thing there we go i'm gonna start spending some of my gold though to get the resistance up in the uh germans oh ethiopia's been knocked out been replaced with china now i don't know what's going on in the politics
politics of Switzerland? We are very worried about the Chinese, though, apparently. Okay, here's the big question. Will they actually allow us to take their land? Okay, we'll start with the French Alps. Okay, they're more likely to accept based on the size of our forces and their opinion of us. So we can just spam out all our crappy militia and then hit the focus okay moment of truth will switzerland finally grow in four years of gameplay or will nothing truly ever happen wow we look so cool <laughs> oh this does mean we have access to the sea now which means i can go ahead and start selling some more planes because i wasn't able to really reach anyone before because they'd obviously uh, have to trade but through the axis, which they, they couldn't do. Well, at least everyone that wasn't Chad neutrality, like me and Sweden. And Italy also accepted. Okay, that is interesting. <laughs> Look at that, though. The sales are picking up. Okay, here we go. Neutral on top. We're really tripling down at this point on doing literally nothing. <laughs> My country literally can't even send volunteers. If I do the other focus, though, I could do volunteers, but that's not the point of this playthrough. Although, I do find it really funny that you can just get all this land essentially for free. I mean, you can't do anything with it. We're never, ever gonna do anything. Although, I am working towards some nuclear reactors. <laughs> I can't wait to do this, and all I get is Sweden. Because I, I don't know who else is really left at this point. Potentially, we could have got Turkey as well, but they've already entered as well. So I don't think we've got much of a shot there. Okay, real good news is, though, that ever since I got access to the sea, people are buying the planes. And I do have a brand new model. I have got my jet fighters out, although I don't put jet engines on them. I never do. But it's quite hilarious that they are called jet fighter ones when there is most certainly not a jet engine engine in the oh, wait a second Whoa, we can get quite a few people in right boys together we will assure the world that nothing will ever happen well you know aside for the major happenings currently going on in the world you go we've got the boys together you can't even see our faction on the map we are hiding that much but if you zoom in the neutral entente is all over the world now i hate the fact we're almost just the same color as the, the non-factions <laughs> uh, but yeah we got central america we've got cuba colombia ireland portugal the middle east we've got it all i just realized as well because I have um, the, the Swiss neutrality and I actually went with the militia path. What is the point of me actually getting this armor tech? Because I I can't even edit my division templates. Uh, I realize technically I can now also just do the German side as well. You know? <laughs> we just get, why don't we just do the whole focus trick? Yeah, I gotta say, I am truly the pinnacle of neutrality right now. I am selling to all sides, which is actually very good because I'm gonna need that to help build these nuclear reactors in the mountains. Yeah, my country's policies and politics in general just completely messed up. Nobody knows what's going on over here, and I'm only making it more complicated. Oh yeah, 1946, might as well invent the towed artillery piece, I guess. I haven't done it because there's literally... Where, where, where can I put it? Now, you may think me going down the German side over here might lead to something, but don't fret, nothing will happen. That's, uh... That's not really what I would call a priority target right there. Whoever did it <laughs> dropped that. Oh, nothing ever happened, bros. That's not good. Uh, my faction just got declared on. What? <laughs> what's, what's, ah! We're going to have to abandon the neutral on top. The hell out of here, Iraq. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, some would say, diplomatically, it's probably a bad time to be getting closer to the Germans. I'm pretty sure there is no way we can get any further down this tree now, because I just can't get my support high enough, because obviously I banned the Germans in the first place from getting in. And uh, we did technically abandon our neutrality. Technically. We're not going to break our neutrality, we just slightly abandoned it. We can't go any further right. I guess we'll go all the way back to democracy and see if we could do something there. <laughs> Germans? Yeah, I was never friends with them. Not in the slightest. Just, um, we're gonna need to hide a few things on the mountain. Also, maybe clear a few records of, uh, <laughs> sales. <laughs> now, this is, I guess, kind of weirdly historically accurate today. But almost historically accurate. The nuclear bunker that is Switzerland down here, you're not too accurate. Right! There they go. Um, interesting developments in the world. I just realized that this, this isn't even over. Does this open up anything for me, potentially? No, no, no nothing at all. <laughs> nothing ever happens. Ooh, also just realized the UK has a goal on me. I don't know when that came about, but I should 
probably care. I just don't. I don't think we're ever going to swap over to democratic. I think we're just at the perfect plurality of just nothing ever happens. I mean, technically, I can get goals as well. I can just defy people, but I'm just, you know, why would I break the fun now? I'm going to put 8,000 jet fighters on the market for low price. I think, um, that should give us <laughs> a bit of a profit. Don't really have a good market access anymore, though, because all the allies hate us. And, um, you know, I, I wish they didn't you know what you're thinking. How have you not done anything? Well, it's simple. Nothing ever happens. Only issue is I have 27 nukes right now and not a lot to do with them. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe have a little bit of fun. Considering I have a couple planes that have some pretty long range and, you know i wouldn't want to you know just <laughs> let all this go to waste as i will finally deploy the citizen militia well fellas it's official i'm no longer neutral and to top it off the neutral entente is no longer neutral either official act <laughs> just gonna leave one of these right here actually nothing personal either i just like bringing the end of the world now we send the brave militias out to I, I, I guess Crimea. Obviously, can't edit them, so we just got a 32 width pure militia spam. As you can see, not that surprising to a lot of people, the militia ain't that good. She's doing okay over here because I've summoned the power of uh, the sun just to block their view, I guess. The whole power of the sun thing got us a little bit, but since they put some uh, fighters up, we, we kind of had to run away. Uh, could no longer use it. Good news is, over in Europe, I actually have a bit of range. Yeah, but only a little bit of the sun left. Um, used a lot of it over in Russia. Yeah, the longer we actually have the uh, militia out there, the worse this gets. Currently, pretty bad. So I'm just gonna... Uh, send them home. <laughs> so yeah, all we can really offer, because obviously we can't make our own units, is air support, and they're using it to the fullest, I see. Now, I guess technically we could put out some mountaineers, but they're, um, not the best. Yeah, now I know that we're a bit hit and miss on this series of how, you know, we're doing the worst focus tree and the worst paths, but I, <laughs> I can definitely say we have done the worst things we can today. Yeah, at least if we went over here, we'd be able to be building divisions right now and doing something. We can't do anything. Yeah, I do think Switzerland's probably the only nation in the game I can think of that actually gets the majority of their consumer good factories after the change because we get like a, a minus 90% that the ongoing rearmament minus 25% it, it's pretty good it means we do get uh, overall a very large industry and industry base but um <laughs> What can we do with it? But yeah, we do have the base expectation, which is 10%. I don't think we can get any lower than that, which is just 13 factories. Not bad at all. But yeah, I think that's the best in the game. Maybe the Soviets can still get it, but uh, I can't think of anyone else. Uh, realized I can actually kind of get in on this front line of it because Austria decided to flip ideologies. Uh, <laughs> hey, look at that. I'm now a big liney block. I kind of look like a T-Rex or something actually, or some sort of dinosaur just nibbling whatever that is. And there's my little T-Rex arm and I'm sitting down on the toilet. I Actually, I'm more of a chest burster now I look at it. It sucks so much I need to call in help from the, <laughs> the sun. Okay, I think we, we may be drawing to an end here. Portugal... <laughs> Why? But yeah, I truly cannot be bothered to do anything else here. I don't think there's even anything I can do because Switzerland is terrible. Uh, okay, in all fairness, I did play them the most horrendous way you could ever play them. But we should hit the point of the series. And uh, I can say without a doubt, they suck. Although I reckon this game could be like 10 times better if we had just not done the neutral Entente. And I knew from the start, this is what was going to break this entire thing. Because if we did go on Switzerland on the offensive, we would actually be able to build some units. Now, we could have also gotten rid of it if we went down over here or even just the uh, democratic path and then get into jump into the action at the bottom there. That would also fix us. But yeah, we also can't do that because I locked us out of it. <laughs> I mean, technically, in another 50 years, we might be able to flip but i'm currently stuck at 50 percent because once again i can't get anywhere and this is truly the worst way you could ever play switzerland should you do it no is it fun definitely not uh, unless you find clicking this button fun then i guess you could technically just sit here for the rest of the game <laughs> dropping truth nukes but yeah that was switzerland 
in the worst way you can possibly play them. It's 1950. Uh, I imagine the Allies will at some point potentially finish this with the Soviets, but they are doing a spectacularly terrible job currently. And there's really nothing I could do, not with my units at least. Uh, we could sit here and manage the skies forever though. I'm just not going to. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Focus Street, feel free to leave a like, subscribe down below and check out more videos on the channel because we have so many. Too many, but we don't have a lot of focus to Z left. In fact, I think we've only got like six, maybe five nations left, and then it's over.